everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a review video on the Coastal Scents Hot Pots. They recently had a huge sale. They were 99 cents each. OMG. I know, it's crazy. 99 cents for a shadow. How could they be good? So I want to give you all of the details on these shadows. Here are the ones that I picked up. So if you want to see swatches and hear my thoughts and just keep on watching so these shadows are 99 cents each they are from coastal scents and they are called the hot pots i had seen all over youtube when the sale was going on people salt on them and everything like that and i was asking all my friends about their opinion on them and i just was like you know what i have to get at least a couple and then the next time they have a sale i can always get more but these are the ones that I picked. Um, so far, the formula is amazing on all of them except for this guy. This orange shade barely shows up, and I'll show you the swatch of that. But everything else is really blendable and really picks up on the brush really easily. And I mean, what more could you want from a 99 cent shadow? I'm going to show you swatches, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. So the first one is this gorgeous dark green shade. It is Grapevine, and it's number HP223. There it is on my finger. So pretty. So there is Grapevine. Very beautiful. I tried wearing this with the next shadow I'm going to show you, but... It didn't work out as planned. The next shadow is Celery Ice, and it's number HP181, and it looks like that. It is what I'm wearing all over my lid today, and if you follow me on Instagram, then today, when I'm filming this, I posted this look, and everybody is kind of obsessed with it, just like I am, because, come on, it's 99 cents, and it looks like this. For the sake of this video, I'm doing two swatches to get the intense opacity but come on that shadow practically glows that's how pigmented it is it is unbelievable i just i was so blown away by this shadow it got me really excited about these next we have a mauve shade this is the shade what it looks like and then it's number hpme20 i tried using this today as well but i I just, I need to figure out how to use it, like with what shadows. I wanted to use it with Urban Decay Last Call because I thought the two would be good together, but they actually just kind of blend into each other and are the same color, so they don't create a very good look. But there's that one. It's a very mauve frosty color, and it's really, really gorgeous. It's kind of like that cranberry color for the fall, but a little bit lighter than that, so I can't wait to wear that one. Or this one doesn't have a number, as you can see. It just says Deep Teal. And I have worn this one as well. I So, so far I've worn Deep Teal and Celery Ice in an actual look. This one is really, really pretty. I feel like I posted it on Instagram, but I can't remember. Oh, the other thing with these is that they barely have any kickback. I did just blow on my hand to get the kickback away, but that's because I, like, scraped the shadow. So there's kickback. But look at that shadow. That is insane. I love that shadow too. They are, it's just so beautiful. I just can't believe that these are 99 cents each. So there's the top row of my palette right there. And you can see, maybe I should, too bad I didn't do that smartly. But anyway, there they are right there. And then on the other hand, I'll do the last four. I have worn this shade right here as a brow bone highlight and as an inner corner highlight. This is in the shade Vanilla Sky and it's HP 235. It's just like a really nice brow bone, kind of neutral shade. This one is not as like metallic as the other ones. There it is right there, but still comes across very, very pigmented and super easy to blend out. So that's the deal with that. Now here's the shade that I'm kind of disappointed in. This is in the shade Atomic Apricot HP 242. And then there's the color right there. So it's very orange. I don't even know. 
I, I guess I thought apricot would be more of like a peach coral shade for some reason and I was really in the mood for like coral shadows because I don't have any and you'll see a couple that will look similar to this one because I was really on that kick. It looks good on the swatch kind of but I don't know. I'm not like super in love with it but maybe once I wear it because it does look super glowy like that celery ice shadow that I showed you. So we'll see. I'll have to play around with it. I have not worn this yet because I'm kind of afraid to. Now this is what sparked the entire order. This shadow right here is called Fire Glow and it's number HP274 and I don't know what made me get this. I guess I was really in the mood for like orange coral shades but these are all more orange than they are coral so I really don't know what I was thinking. But here's the swatch of it right here. Really really pretty. Super opaque, super pigmented, really easy to put on the skin, and we will see about the eyes. I will definitely do a look with that one because that one's really, really pretty. Probably should get on it because summer is almost over, and that would be a really cool, like, sunset look with the two of those. And then, last but not least, we have Coral Blossom, and this is number HP275, and this is Coral Shadow. Finally... Out of all the talk, we finally get to a coral shadow, and let's just, it really is coral. Now, this one swatch is terrible too. This has a lot of kickback, but there you go right there. So I don't like the lighter orangey coral shades as much as I do these shades because in general, I do not like warmer shades on my lids for some odd reason. I'm more of a blue-green, purple kind of gal. I lo love color and I'm really bad with neutrals. So that's why I think these are speaking to me a little bit more and why I'm more excited about these. But these definitely swatched really well. So I'll let you just take a browse at these as I move my hands around so you can see in all the glory of the 99 cent shadow. And I'm going to shut up now. Alright, so that is the live swatch portion of this video. I did kind of already tell you my thoughts, but I've only used two of these shadows, so I'm going to keep playing around and make sure you follow me on Instagram because I have been posting pretty much daily my makeup of the day looks. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe so you can stay up to date on all my videos so they come in your subscription feed. And that is it for me, and I'll see you guys in my next video.